Okay, we're going to start by attaching the legs. There is a symbol on the legs for the left and right, and you can also see the foot, how it goes. Uh, there's two nuts with acorn nuts. Uh, go ahead and uh, we'll insert the leg into the knee joint here. Okay, the left is on, it's tight, and then the right leg also has an R symbol on it. Same thing, we'll connect it up through the knee. Okay, and now the right leg is assembled on there. Then I tighten both of them up so that they are very snug with finger tightness. You can take a, a Phillips screw driver and a crescent and tighten it up just a little bit more, but I wouldn't recommend much more than just hand tight. Okay, to change the genitalia on the adult nursing mannequin, uh, what we want to do is we want to pull it out Disengage the Velcro from the back side of the, pull it out far enough so you can grab a hold of the screw and then unturn it till it's, go ahead and pull it out to remove it. Okay, now we'll put the genitalia back on. We insert this into the tube and we grab that nut and we tighten it up. Once it's tight like that, uh, we want to go ahead and we'll insert the top part of the skin into the flange area here. And then the bottom flange area, we put that into the opening too, and then we just press down on the Velcro. There's three sets of pads, two on the top, two in the middle, two on the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how to remove the stomach from our adult nursing mannequin. We want to start by removing the skin. It's secured down with Velcro. You can just pull that up and drape it over the face of the mannequin. Go ahead and remove the rib cage. Set it to the side. Go ahead and remove the liver. It just pulls straight out. Set it to the side. Uh, between the mannequin's left lung and heart, you can go ahead and lift up on the lung. Then grasp and hold the knob and we want to turn it counterclockwise. It's going to disengage, and then we can just simply pull the stomach out. We would then take this to a sink and rinse it out if it's dirty. Uh, you would want to put it on a wire rack and invert it, let it dry out until it's dry. Once it's dry, you can go ahead and reinsert it back in, and we'll just uh, reverse the process. So we lift up on the left lung again. We slide the stomach into place and there's a slot here for the tube that's pretty self-explanatory it shows the, where to put that in the other end of the stomach goes into this recessed hole we align the tubes up put the tightening nut on and we re-tighten it back up And next, we'll put the liver back in. And then we'll place the ribs back on. And then we lower the skin and re-engage the Velcro again. 